Hello Terraria and Fusifs, my name is James and today I actually thought it'd be a really fun idea if I asked a bunch of you guys what I should make today's video about. So I talked to Twitter, I wrote a little tweet saying, any topics you'd like me to make a Terraria video about today? And I got some responses, so they were all very short and nothing I could actually make a full video out of, so I thought I would compile some of the tweets together and make what we have today. So hopefully you will learn something today, either about Terraria or about me. So let's get into this. So this tweet actually comes from Nick, and it's best dies in Terraria, question mark. So I don't believe I'd ever make a top 5 video about dies in Terraria, but if I had to pick some of my favourites, I would probably pick any of them from the pillar dies, because I think they look so good. So that's like solar, vortex, and like nebula. And then I would also go with gold die, because I always seem to get gold die in my series, and I use it a lot. But, you know, pillar die is quite expensive, and I never really show it on camera. But I think it looks really, really nice. So, this one is from Steampunk Fiend underscore YouTube. How glorious the robot hat is. So, the robot hat is one of the very first vanity items added into Terraria. And I remember it being a really big deal when it was added, because a lot of people were just spending all of their time farming piranhas for it. Because, like I said, it was one of the first few vanity items added in the game. Now the robot hat is special because I actually really love what it's referencing here and that is Cave Story. So I actually recently picked up a copy of Cave Story for the Nintendo Switch and I had this imported from America and I've never done that before but my god was I happy. I love playing this on the Nintendo Switch and when I'm not making videos I've been playing this for the past couple of days. So one last thing about the robot hat is it is glorious but sorry Nick it looks awful with dye on it. Just leave it as it is. So this one is from Jelly, maybe a top 5 underrated weapon slash tools if you haven't already done one, or facts about Terraria developers. So I feel like the top 5 underrated weapon slash tools is something I'll get into in length at another time because I feel like I have a lot to say about that, but a fact about a Terraria developer, well I actually do have one that I've never mentioned before, and this is actually good for Nick here because he's already asked about dives in Terraria, so here is my little fact. So dives in Terraria was originally going to be something completely different. So now when you equip a die, it has like a status effect, and then the game knows how to change the pixels to represent that die. Well, originally, Senex actually wanted dies to be a complete respriting of every item in the game. So originally, she was going to resprite copper armor and give it, say, a red tin and call it red die. And then it wasn't until red stepped in and actually made a quick little coding program for it that it actually completely changed. So Senex was the one who wanted to add dies into Terraria and that's actually really, really cool. Like the way they originally were going to look was completely different, but still super awesome, right? So Jesper on Twitter wanted to know, what are my favorite other NPCs? So as you guys know, I love the Cloth of Year, I love the Steampunker, and then one that I never really get in any of my series, but I actually really like is the Truffle NPC. And the reason I really like him is because he actually reminds me of Terraria Update 1.2. So when I was actually making videos back then for Update 1.2, one of the first few spoilers actually had the Truffle NPC, but he was tucked away in the corner of the mini-map. So we didn't actually know what he was going to be or what he would look like. We could only see the little icon that they actually gave for him on the mini-map. And so when I see him, it always makes me think of Terraria 1.2. And the fact that he drops the Hamush, which is a reference to the Legend of Max, the webcomic, it's pretty cool, right? So I always like that NPC, but I honestly never get it. I can never be bothered to go and make a mushroom biome in my jungle just to get him, but I still think he's really cool. So he's definitely one of my favorites. So this last one is from Derium. Maybe do your top favorite mounts. So just off the top of my head, I'm going to say the Unicorn Mount. I really like that one. I really like the Basilisk one that they added in Terraria 1.3.3. I remember when me and Python got that in our series and it was so cool. He let me actually use that one in our series and I was very, very thankful. I really like the, uh, the attack damage that one does. And then my final one would probably be the Drill Containment Unit because I just think it looks really, really nice. It actually has a subtle reference to South Park in it, which I won't go over now because it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's not child friendly in the slightest. But I really like that one. I think it looks really cool and I think it's very effective at mining things out. So they're my favorite ones. 
So that's about it for today's Terraria video. Thank you to every person who left video ideas. A double thank you if I actually used your idea today. Hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're not done binge watching Terraria videos yet, I actually have this video here, which goes over some gaming references hidden within Terraria. I actually talk about Cave Story a little bit more in that video because I mentioned the robot hat. Or if that video doesn't sound like it's for you, I actually have something on the reverse side of that. And I have five Terraria references that are actually hidden in other games. So I'm talking about Minecraft and I'm talking about pixel piracy and some other ones. I won't ruin the whole thing. Just go and check that one out. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to Chippy Gaming, you're in the one-stop place for all your Terraria needs. By clicking that subscribe button, you can stay up to date with everything Terraria. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.